I want to start this video off with an anecdote of sorts. The other day, my friend sent me a picture of this cliffside, which there's not really much distinctive to it. And then I thought, wait, is that Tails? Yeah, it's, it's, it's fair to say I've seen this movie too many times at this point, so I'm more than qualified to talk about what I'm about to talk about. Let's get into it. In 2014, I was working in a local restaurant and on my lunch break, I saw a news article on IGN that would change my life forever. Sonic the Hedgehog, my favourite video game franchise, was getting its own CGI live action hybrid movie courtesy of Sony Pictures. The following reaction ensued. Six years, a studio change, a redesign and a delay later, we have seen the Sonic movie and it is everything I would hoped it would be and more. In this video, I want to look at the movie and, and look at what it's done for us as a fan base and more exclusively, what this movie has done for me personally. Sonic has always been dear to me from a very young age. The first video game I ever played was Sonic 2 on the Mega Drive with my uncle. I dabbled in the franchise some more as a child and then my dad bought me Sonic Heroes from my local Woolworths. RIP and I delved headfirst into the franchise again. I got myself a GameCube, played through Adventure 1 and 2, and followed every entry in the franchise with enthusiasm and excitement from that point forward. Even... Look, MCR had just released the Black Parade, I constantly wore drain pipes and paramour tops. Like, I, I was an edgy emo, and I still am, and it's still one of my favourites, so screw you. By the time the movie announcement rolled around, I was supercharged on supersonic energy. Sure, I'd been burned before with Dragon Ball Evolution and The Last Airbender, but third time lucky, right? Well then, came the unsettling period of development hell. In 2016, Sony sold the film rights to Sonic the Hedgehog, to Paramount Studios, and the film sat in limbo for a few years. I didn't think the movie was going to happen as things were really quiet and this is kind of the case for a lot of movies. But then in 2018, Paramount announced the Sonic the Hedgehog movie would be with us in 2019. I was ecstatic. People were finally going to see what I saw. A beautiful franchise depicting the power of teamwork and friendship. Yeah, call me naive, I still believe in that shit. And Sonic was going to be back in the public eye again. Little did I know, that would soon be for the wrong reasons. I was actually in a hospital waiting room when I first saw this, which is kind of fitting to be honest. I'd had a tip off that the trailer was going to be released, and despite my constant refreshing of Facebook, my girlfriend at the time still managed to tag me in it first. It looked horrifying, but at the time, I kind of ate it up. Okay, so Sonic may look more like his werehog counterpart from Unleashed, but Kerry looked to be having fun with the role of Dr. Eggman, there was a Green Hill reference, and Sonic looked pretty, pretty damn fast. But then the internet fell into disarray. People did not like this design. I was amazed at how many people flooded to Twitter to voice this. Sonic had people in his corner that I didn't realise existed, and it was so good to see there was still a general love out there for the character. It was not long after the backlash that a redesign and delay was announced. This announcement was met positively all round, except by one guy in the comic book cast group who still thinks we're getting a Snyder Cut. It, it, sorry dude, but this movie's not for you I guess. Things were on a high. The Sonic movie was coming. Sonic was going to look more in line with the games and Christmas was right around the corner. But then I went through my own personal issues. My girlfriend at the time cheated on me, I fell into a massive depression and ran into problems of addiction and terrible coping mechanisms. I was at an all time low and I'd been pretty convinced that I was going to take my own life. I put up a video saying that I was quitting YouTube for a while, but despite everything I was feeling, all the darkness I felt and the shadows that surrounded me, there was this little blue light at the end of the tunnel. Whenever I felt particularly in that frame of mind, a little voice would chime in my head saying, you're not going to do it before you see Sonic. You've waited too long for this. You have to go and see Sonic. But it still wasn't enough to pull me out of what I was feeling. I was merely existing in life, not really taking care of myself, abusing my mind and body with drugs and alcohol daily, just waiting patiently for the Sonic movie and to end my life shortly after. I wasn't really excited for the movie anymore. It was more a milestone I wanted to reach. But then, one fateful, fateful day, I sat in the kitchen at my work and this dropped. I'm Sonic, a little ball of super energy 
in an extremely handsome package. Ice cream. A friend was sitting with me while this happened, and whereas most people would run out of the room at the sight of a 27-year-old man screaming with delight at a kids movie, she just sat there and laughed. Probably because it had been the only time someone had seen me truly smile in about a month. This was Sonic. My Sonic. The Sonic I grew up with and adored. Green Hill. Hilltop Zone. The iconic logo on his headband that's using the Calamity Hatcher logo. I was sold. This was it. This is what I needed to focus my attention on. Sonic was almost here and he was going to bring so much joy to my heart. In the second to last week of January, I could not wait any longer. The promotion for the film was stepping up and I couldn't contain my excitement. Now, I've got to give some credit to friends here who really pulled me through. I was still a wreck at this time. Concerning those around me, being as self-destructive as I could be, I was a state. But many of my friends refused to give up on me. They pushed me. They told me to get behind my YouTube and make life whatever I wanted it to be. I've got so much love for you guys for doing that. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, sincerely. So it's at that moment, this guy took a chance and contacted Paramount about going to the Sonic movie premiere. I heard nothing for a week and realised it was probably a lost cause. I wasn't expecting to get a response, I'm not monetized. I have a very loyal but not particularly large fan base, and the most views I've ever achieved on a video is 19,000. But then, on January 30th, I received an email that would change everything going on in my life for the better. You've got mail. Dude, this thing claims I have mail. I was invited to the blue carpet premiere of Sonic the Hedgehog at Westfield, London. I took my boy Phil, a Mario boy with an outspoken hatred for Sonic. We saw the film together, and Phil really enjoyed it. It took me a short while to register what had happened. It was almost a dream, like I didn't actually believe I'd seen the movie. But I had, and it was amazing to me. All my hard work with this channel for two years, all the hard times and all the shitty things that had happened to me had been worth it for this moment. I had survived, and Sonic had got me there, and in two short weeks from that day, the rest of the world was going to see Sonic as I had just seen him. Best video game movie opening of all time, amazing audience reception, and over 300 million gross worldwide. Come February 14th, I was sat on my own in the cinema for the first showing of Sonic. This was different for me, it was Valentine's, I had always had plans to see this movie with my ex. But as I sat there and watched the story unfold for the second time, I didn't care anymore. Jeff Fowler and his team had taken this beautiful cornerstone of my childhood and adult life and paid it justice with incredible results. Now is my time. It's our time. It's a great time to be a Sonic fan. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Sonic has never been my relatable character. Sure, I take elements of his personality and apply them to mine as well as my ethics and morals. This is my power and I'm not using it to run away anymore. I'm using it to protect my friends. But I've never said I'm just like Sonic. I've always seen myself through Shadow's eyes. A dark, edgy emo with the world on his shoulder. If the world chooses to become my enemy, I will fight like I always have. But as the Sonic franchise has always been there in my darkest moments, it was about to step up to the plate again by displaying Sonic's loneliness in the movie. I sit here amongst my Sonic merch and video games, creating content for people to watch and hopefully enjoy, but 99% of the time, particularly in isolation, I'm completely alone. I never expected to relate to Sonic, but as I sat in that cinema for my second viewing, well... Still rather lonely? Yeah. Me too, buddy. But then that was it. I wasn't facing this alone. This CGI hedgehog felt the same way I did. This almost made me feel content with my feelings. I was like my boy. Maybe there was some form of light at the end of the tunnel. And as I keep running through life, maybe I could reach it like Sonic did. It's silly, I know, but it worked. This movie legitimately saved my life. It brought me from a place of total darkness to ecstatic happiness, the likes of which I haven't felt in some time. But I know I'm not the only one here. So many of us fans feel outcast. We are literally known as one of the worst fan bases of all time. We fight, we go over the top, but this movie brought us all together. Gone were the days of bitching each other about which game's better than which. Every post in every group on Facebook was about the movie and how much people were loving it. It's so amazing to see the franchise in this light for the first time since Sonic Mania. 
I've spoken with so many of you at length about how much we love this movie. I just cannot express how happy I am that the world is looking at Sonic with enjoyment and anticipation. I've spoken with family members with no interest in Sonic about this movie. Sure, people aren't on my level, my aunt's never going to get into a debate with me about whether Sonic works better in 2D or 3D, but we've already discussed the movie and it's all but confirmed sequel at this point. The Sonic the Hedgehog movie is legitimately one of the best things that's ever happened to me. I want to say a massive thank you to Jeff Fowler, Tim Miller, everybody who worked at MPC, and everyone else who worked on this movie because you've truly given the fans and I something special. I also want to thank the Sonic fans too because without us, this never would have happened. We built the hype, we got the redesign, and we came together to create a period of our lives as a fandom that we can always look back on with such fond memories. To see Sonic go from one of gaming's biggest jokes... I, I think we're... Okay. I think we're at the Real point talk. where we need to admit that this was never really a great franchise. Nope. And that we, they, we keep trying and trying and trying to find this thing that was never really actually no, there. Sonic was never good. Having the best video game movie so far means more to me than I can possibly put into words. And I know loads of you are with me on this. It's such a wonderful time to be a part of this franchise, and I'm so happy to have these conversations with you guys about how amazing Sonic is and how excited we are for a sequel. We are back, Sonic fans, and I cannot wait to see what the future holds. Hey, Sonic! Enjoy your future! It's gonna be great! I'm back, and I can truly say Sonic the Hedgehog saved my life.